Greetings from the Woostead. It is I, Woos the Collector, and this is episode 41 of the Collectors, Geeks, and Freaks show. All right, guys. This week we went out to the movies, like said, um, and I saw Shazam 2, A Fury of the Gods. Um, little background. I did see the first one, um, but not in the theater. I think I bought it on Blu-ray or... Um, 4k we watched it at home in the Woos theater and i i enjoyed it i thought it was quite well as for the second one i don't think it was as enjoyable as the first it's not a bad movie it's a fun kind of movie family kind of movie um i don't look at it like with the dc universe though there is a cameo in it which was kind of cool um so that was awesome to see that character come in played by that actor. I don't want to spoil it for you if you haven't seen it. That's towards the end of the movie. Um, once you're watching the movie, you'll get an idea of who might show up. So um, the CGI and everything was good. Uh, Zach Levy, he he's cool. I don't know that much about Sajan, but except for a little bit I've read in the comics. And it seems like it was... Um, the first one was based on the comics. The second one, I guess the, the villains, I believe, are something just made up for the film. I'm not sure. They're the daughters of Atlas. Um, and I don't, I, I think, I believe I read they were made just for the movie. Um, is it worth seeing in the theater? Yeah, I, I would say so, especially if you could see it in IMAX or XD. Um, unfortunately, we saw it in XD, but not in 3D. I always like to see the superhero movies like that in 3D. But, yeah, I would see it in the theater. Um, I would watch it again, too. Like I said, it was entertaining. Um, I like the dragon in it. <laughs> There's a dragon. Uh, and, yeah, it's an entertaining movie. So, go see it if you can. Um, for the small screen, um, I did start... Um, did I start? Oh, Harley Quinn, um, being Harley Quinn on HBO Max. Um, watched two episodes so far. Uh, it's okay. Um, a lot of swearing. It's a definitely adult cartoon. Um, I'll see where it goes. I'll give it another few episodes, see how that is. Um, else on the small screen, I started, uh, finished season two of Evil and started season three. Like I said, this is a horror series. If you haven't watched it or, or, or want to watch it i suggest you do i like it about three um a three team member a priest uh a debunker and a psychologist um where they go to see if people are worthy of ex exisms Exer an exercise exercise jeez see this is what happens when you don't know how to speak people um exorcist Exorcism. There we go. We got it. Had to say the other word first. They go to debunk people who want to be ex. <laughs> I'm not gonna go there. <laughs> All right. It's a cool show. Check it out if you can. Um, I don't remember their names, but the three lead cast members and even the lead priest, couple priests, you'll you'll recognize them once you see them. Good show. Good cast. Check it out. Um, yeah. That's uh, everything else on the small screen. Still watching History of the World. Well, you know, that's another one that's eh, it's Mel Brooks. It, it's got a couple laughs here and there, but it, it's all right. Nothing to write home about. Uh, OK, but um, we did some shopping this week and two after the movie hit our local Walmart for some groceries and I hit up our local Target. I will hit um, and then I got an order from Best Buy that they had some sales on for uh, last week so first we're going to go off um the mcfarland the dc superpower figures this is dark side um they, they he was marked down to seven um these were originally 9.99 i finally decided to pick them up for four dollars um they didn't have superman or batman but they had a bunch of these guys but i picked up one with a good package so four dollars i figured he's a cool figure to have and it's mcfarland so and these are kind of like the uh the retro figures so always like the retro figures over at our local target i did happen to find a, a disney 100 goofy um his box is good I couldn't get him on pre-order because he sold out, so I landed up only one in the store that I, I saw, so 
Um, and I believe he's like $26 on Funko's app. Um, so I picked him up for 11 with the 5% red card discount. So we got him in our local Target. And this is what I was really hoping for. As you can see, uh, these guys don't have any tags on them. Um, I had read online, and I believe I said it in one of my videos, that Target was... Um, clearancing this line so over at my local target i just happened to grab them and scan them sure enough they're on clearance i got um the red skull for 17.48 but uh he who remains 12.48 so that's pretty cool i'm gonna go out i'm off this week and i'm gonna try to get um agent Wu, zombie scarlet witch and howard the duck to complete koshu Kanchu, Kanchu, um, the build a figure, which looks pretty cool. So, um, but yeah, I picked up these two and the classic locally for two forty eight. Um, and I'm gonna try to. I'm off this week, so I'm gonna try to do some um, brick and mortar um, shopping in between my errands. So I'm gonna hit up a couple other targets that aren't too far away and see if I can find any more of these. For my Best Buy sale, yeah, that's a, I, I am off this week, so as you can see too, the the backlog that I need to get to, that's one of my projects to get done this week. And that's not including that side of the room, which is very, very small compared to the, what's behind me. All right, so let's get to our Best Buy order. I ordered some Blu-rays and 4Ks um, that were on sale, plus some figures. I expect Blu-rays and stuff to like this they do from anywhere I got uh, Planet Terror uh, what's his name does this Robert Rodriguez's um, this is one they did the um, I forget what kind of cinema they call it but these are like outlandish uh, really good I, I love them uh, machine gun girl with her machine gun leg $6.99 to add to my collection I picked up uh, no Man Land with Francis McDonald. Um, I guess I, I heard and saw the previews for it, and it looked very interesting, and um, it got a lot of good reviews. So I'm going to check that one out. That was $8.99. Another movie. They have the little rip tags, but it's easier to grab a pair of scissors. Oh. Ready or not, oh wow, somebody tore open this one. Doesn't look open on the side, so I think we should be good. Ready or not, um, this was $7.99, I believe. Been waiting to see this one. That uh, The girl gets married and she gets into this rich family, but I guess there's a, a, a strange game they play. Well, they're hunting her. Kind of like uh, that other movie, I forgot what we saw, where they were hunting the people. All right, one more plastic bag, and I know I should learn my lesson. Two Marvel Legends. They came quick, so I'm hoping they're not damaged, but we'll see. Um, I might have to make a trip to my local Best Buy to do a return. Oof, one, right off the bat, one looks all like it got pulled off the shelf, but it's up to me if I'm going to keep them. The first is a uh, speedball from the new warriors one of my favorite characters this guy here um got imprisoned because he's the one who blew up the school in greenwich in marvel um comic uh, history um it was an accident the new warriors were trying to save somebody but it was a big storyline back in the 90s um and robbie here has always been one of my favorite new warriors so i got to pick him up for uh 1748 so I did that. Um, this is the one that looks a little. Oh yeah, this is. But I, I'm gonna keep them. It's Thor from Ragnarok. Um, even for the dinged upness, I got them on clearance, like for seven forty eight. So I'm gonna keep them. I wasn't a fan of the movie. Um, he's got all his pieces, so it looks good. I always try to complete the. A series if I can pick up some for cheap like this so I'm gonna hang on to him even though his box is messed up one left from Best Buy sale 
I'm not sure if this is movies or another figure. I ordered a few things. You know, Best Buy runs deals every once in a while. It just happened. Oh, this is the... Uh, look at that. And you know they folded him back. This is Groot. He was also $7.49. And they built... You know, they didn't have to do that. Again, just because of that, I got him for really cheap. I'm going to keep him. He was $7.48 I got him for it, even with the bent thing. But I've learned my lesson. Best Buy, F you and your shipping on collectibles. You suck. I will continue to buy from you, yes, because you have good deals. But I'll get everything delivered to store and just pick it up and go out of my way. Thanks, Best Buy. Try and avoid going out and deal with people. But apparently I'm going to have to. So, guys, that's an episode. I have the week off. Hopefully be working on the backlog. <laughs> um, getting that cleaned up so maybe we could show you some of the statues behind me. Um, I'll do some unboxing of some new statues I have and some rearranging. And we'll show you some of those videos. But for now, this is Wooz the Collector signing off.